Hello everyone and welcome to another empties video. There's quite a few empties so we're just going to jump right in. They're from a variety of places like Dollar Tree, Walmart. So first off I have these Q-tips precision tips. I use these for makeup. There's 170 in here and they do have like a pointed end on them and I love these for makeup so I'll continue to repurchase these. The Assured Brand Cotton Balls. I love these for toner, witch hazel, and most of all nail polish removal. Highly recommend these. They are great from Dollar Tree. Some hand soaps I have here. The Soap and Scents Coconut Hibiscus Hand Soap. This hand soap lathered really nicely. It smelled great. It has coconut oil in it and it's supposed to be relaxing and refreshing at the same time. Uh, this was gifted to me. It was nice. The Bath and Beauty Liquid Hand Soap in the Lemon Scent, antibacterial. This came from Dollar Tree and this has been great. I have this in my soap dispenser now. And this is so fitting. This is another Dollar Tree soap dispenser and that I kept around because it's a little mason jar. Anyways, this stuff's been great. and. This is its empty bottle, but I've used enough of it, half the bottle anyways, to know that I would repurchase this again. I love lemon scents for the kitchen. I have some hand sanitizers. Extra Care hand sanitizer antibacterial with aloe and vitamin E from Dollar Tree. I always repurchase this one time and time again. Sometimes it comes with a flip top lid. Sometimes it comes with a pump. Um, either way, I still buy it, and I think it's a good deal for $1.25, 8 fluid ounces. A very old Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer in Santa's Molo Mint. It smelled amazing, but now there's a little left in there. I don't think this isn't good anymore. I'm going to let go of this. Cucumber Melon Scented Hand Sanitizer. Love this one. One of my favorites from Dollar Tree. will continue to repurchase. This one is from Dollar General. It came in a two-pack dip and dots. Cookies and cream. This does not smell like cookies and cream in my opinion. This is just alright. It is liquidy. I don't think I'll purchase this one again over the cucumber melon or the extra care one because I like those much better than this one. Now getting into the kids stuff. This is stuff that Connor used up. The Crayola scented bath bombs. There was seven in here. You get seven massive bath bombs for five dollars at Big Lots. This was such a good deal in my opinion. They come in fun scents, they tint the water, and he loved these. We'll purchase those again. The Mr. Bubble 4-in-1, this is the clean one, and you can use this for bubble bath, body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. He only used this for bubble bath. It worked great, like it's supposed to. It's dye and paraben free. Oh, and I found this at the Dollar Tree. So $1.25 for Mr. Bubble, you cannot beat that. This is his favorite, I've purchased this so many times, his favorite body wash, Suave Kids Spongebob Squarepants. He loves Spongebob. This is a two-in-one shampoo and body wash, and it's in the scent Jellyfish Splash. 28 fluid ounces, I believe this is about $6. It lasts him a long time. Comes in a big pump bottle. And I have to say, loving Spongebob when it first came out um, through high school, love Spongebob. Love this packaging. I love everything about it. Uh, what am I talking about? This whole household loves Spongebob. So yeah, his favorite by far. And moving on to shampoos and conditioners. I have the Bolero Moisture and Hydrate Shampoo Coconut Milk Sweet Almond Oil. And I done a full review on these review um, or on these Bolero products. There is a smidge left of the shampoo. I do not like this. Do not recommend the shampoo in this line. It's terrible. It does nothing for the hair and I cannot stand it. Really cute packaging. Sucked me in with the scent. But performance overall is very poor. Won't purchase it again. The VO5 Passion Fruit Smoothie Shampoo and Conditioner. This stuff is always great. I love VO5. Love suave shampoos. If you're on a budget, the VO5 one is definitely the way to go. It's very cleansing and moisturizing, hydrating on your hair. I love it. It comes in a lot of fun different scents. And they have these bonus size bottles that come in... 18 fluid ounces for only $1.25 each. So if you're on a budget, highly recommend VO5. If you're not on a budget, highly recommend VO5. <laughs> 
because it's really good. Moving on to some body washes real quick. The Arm & Hammer Essentials Moisturizing Shower Gel with, with Gentle Baking Soda with Moisturizing Aloe Orange Blossom 12 fluid ounces, $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. I love finding name brands at the Dollar Tree. This was great. It was moisturizing. It did good. It lathered really well and it was, it seemed good for the body. Like, it worked well. So I enjoyed this. I would purchase it again in other scents. The scent was really nice and light as well. The Pure Skin Spa Therapy Body Wash Coconut and Oat Flower. If you have like skin issues and stuff, this would probably be really nice for you. But maybe not super sensitive skin. But maybe if you're having some dry skin issues and things. Because this was really moisturizing for the skin. It felt very nourishing. Just really nice overall. I found it at the Dollar Tree. Not too watery. It lathered really nice. Oh, and the scents of these linger a little on the skin. Not great. The Bolero Body Wash in the Mandarin and Honeysuckle. 8 fluid ounces. Cute packaging. This was alright. I do think that I had to use more body wash in from like this bottle than these two in comparison. This didn't lather as good as these. So I definitely suggest getting maybe these over that. The scent was very light. It was nice. The scent wise, um, scent really didn't linger on the skin. I, I don't know. Like, it was just okay. I don't think I'll purchase it again. And last but certainly never least, I have some perfumes and I have some body lotion. So these three are just like travel size little bottles. And my mom gave me a whole bag of little travel size bottles that um, Bath and Body Works perfumes and like Victoria's Secret and stuff had been depotted or repotted into these spray bottles these travel bottles so there was like a vanilla one there were some floral ones I think one of these I think maybe this one was like dark kiss or something from Bath and Body Works they smell so good and nice so it's like a treat um there was like 10 bottles it was like a treat picking up one of them and spraying it and not knowing what's in it because they're not labeled or anything but I used up three of the bottles that she sent me. I have the Jergens Cloud Cream Dry Skin Moisturizer 13 fluid ounces. A breathable hydration for comfortably moisturized skin. I cannot talk today. Anyways, this stuff was great. I love the packaging. It's a very light weight lotion like it suggests. And it doesn't leave a sticky feeling. It absorbs very quickly. So if you're in a rush or in a hurry to, you know, get dressed and get out the door, this is a great lotion for that. I love the scent of this. It's kind of light and fresh. It's not overpowering. I recommend this lotion. I hope they still make it because I'm going to have to repurchase. It's very, very nice because I've had this for a while. It's so good. 10 out of 10 would repurchase this one again. They have hand creams as well, and maybe something else that goes along with the lawn. Thank you guys so very much for watching my empties today. I hope you enjoyed the video, found the reviews helpful, and will try some of these products out for yourselves. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell if you haven't already. Don't forget to check the description box and the cards for additional links. Thank you so very much for watching.